Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages we can get from the cards here. I'm also going to be like writing. I don't know if I wanted to put this in the video, but I do have a notebook. And kind of I'm just going to write like, you know, on my own. Because honestly, my handwriting sucks. But like sometimes it's, it's really cool, you guys, to do tarot readings. And then like write down what comes to your mind. Like of course, like, you know, our mind works at like for a lot of us, you know, if you're like me. Um, I think a lot faster than I'm able to get my words out, which is why sometimes like my readings and videos are all over the place, okay? I like literally like cannot like, you know, calm my mind down in terms of like, you know, the rate at which, you know, these thoughts are coming in. So I think it's called like free writing or something, or there's like a name for it where, you know, um, yeah, like I've, I've been to like, you know, tarot readers and actually they didn't even use cards. They just wrote whatever came to mind. They were that intuitive and tapped into the energy. So yeah, anyways, um, I'm just going to be doing that. So if you find me like writing, that's what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, let, let's, okay, let's see what is actually going on in this connection here. Okay. Three of pentacles. I want to invest in this connection. Okay. Um, I want to, um, invest in you An investment in this connection is an investment in you. Um, I keep getting the words investment. Okay. Okay. So much for writing. Like you guys, actually I'm not writing cause I realize it's going to take forever to write, but like, um, I'm like, I'm just like writing words. Like, okay. Like investment, like, you know, that, that came up. Like I want to invest in you. I want to invest in this connection. This person is someone who's very invested in this, in their workplace. Okay. This is someone, um, who really, really likes, um, you know, like, I feel like they're pretty passionate about what they do and like they're they're pretty good at what they do Maybe they could be a workaholic. They could have longer hours. Okay, but they're just like, you know, if they're that invested in you know the, That aspect of their life then they're invested in this connection too. They can be invested in this connection. Okay um, Yeah, we also got here the emperor. Okay, like I want to fight for you. I want to fight for this connection I don't back down you guys. I feel like, you know, they're, they're gonna fight for you for this connection I feel like, you know, I'm seeing something to do with ego Like, you know, I, I do feel like there was a little bit of ego involved here um, Ego could, could come in a lot of different ways shapes and forms, you know, sometimes it could um, Manifest in the form of fear. I do feel like this person definitely did have some fears when it came to this connection Oops. Oh my gosh. I knew that was gonna happen so much. Okay, man. Ah, I literally said fear and that happened. Sorry. Okay. Also the time oh, it, it said two to two on the timer. So, um, I feel like that was a sign. Okay. Ah, uh, what is going on with this? I feel like stability. That's the thing you guys, like, I feel like stability is what's missing here in this connection or with this person. Like even like, you know, um, my camera stand was fine for like the last couple of readings, but it just like something came toppling down. I do feel like, you know, there's some sort of tower moment. I keep getting the words like reconstruction, rebuilding, um, like, um, uh, you know, rebirth transformation i'm going through it <clears throat> something's really shifting within me okay like I, I do feel you know this person definitely had certain um you know pride ego like things they were holding on to like okay i'm not reaching out i have too much pride but i feel like you know they're gonna surpass that they're gonna transcend that they're just like wait no i, I actually don't like you know I'm, I'm not like that at all i want to fight for you i want to fight for this connection because i feel like you guys for a lot of you guys you're just like yeah i don't think this person's a simp at all like they're like the least simpy person or you feel like you know you're the one that's a little bit more emotionally invested or something like that but you guys this person has been really feeling your presence okay like they've been trying to do whatever it takes to kind of like you know make up for the lack but like it's been pretty bad like you know they've been like um really missing you they've really been hurting on the inside i feel like maybe in the beginning they didn't feel it as much but i feel like you know when you left you guys because I, I do feel like you know you are in some sort of connect like separation or like temporary no contact period when you walked away when you literally stepped back because i feel like you energetically pulled back i don't know that you know it or not maybe you unconsciously did it maybe you feel like consciously you're still really into this person but i feel like you know they're really missing you they're really feeling your loss they feel like a part of them died you know when you left and again you may not feel this you may not even understand this but like i feel like something happened in their life like shortly after they left that kind of shook up their life or maybe it's happening right now okay and it's just like you know th they're kind of using like mechanisms that they used to use before like pride and ego um but they, they realize it's not working they realize okay I, I i need to change like you know something needs to change within me like you know for a lot of you guys like you know you're doing okay but then you know someone comes into your life and completely shakes it up okay and it makes you like rethink everything everything that you did in the past everything that like you know you sort of um everything that you you know maybe like negative things that you did like maybe you're like oh my gosh is this my karma or something like you're rethinking everything like you're um you know replaying like certain memories in your head okay like i feel like your person is going through something like that i really feel like you know um this shook up their life like you know whatever happened here 
it really really hit them right if it's not hitting them right now it's gonna hit them like i feel like um they're going they're gonna be going through some sort of tower moment if they have no variety and i feel like you know they definitely are going to be reaching out to you okay uh we also got here the nine of pentacles they know you're really individualistic i feel like you're also dealing with someone who's very individualistic you guys i'm sorry like i'm like literally doing this reading on my bed just because i don't feel like getting up because i'm just like oh my gosh like you know um i can just yeah it's just so warm and cozy in my bed it's cold here in new york um so i just wanted to stay by bed but like you guys nine of pentacles you're individualistic they're individualistic i feel like you're independent they're independent but i feel like there's a little bit of stubbornness here from both sides like maybe that's one of the reasons why you connected you saw a lot of them and you um you and vice versa like energetically you really aligned because of that i do feel like you know you they did something that felt a little bit like a betrayal and you're just like wow i was not expecting this i thought like you know this was a deep connection you were really expecting it to go somewhere you guys in the beginning you're just like this has to work out this has to work out and like you know i feel like this was kind of like your last like hope like you're just like not not like last hope but you're just like okay like you know connections in the past like you know didn't really come to fruition the way that i wanted to this this is the one that i'm relying on this i know is going to be different like you really genuinely thought this person was different you didn't really think that about other people you didn't really have much expectations about other people but like i feel like uh you're just like oh, you know when you met this person you're like finally like i met my soulmate i met someone like you know that's very um you know like that understands me that's there for me that like we have a very deep connection with any guys i think you think that this person's kind of over it or like you know um they're connected with other people or something like that but the truth is they have not been able to replace the connection that you've had they felt magic on your date they feel magic with you even like without you um if you're not in their life you know even in your absence like whatever you did think about this connection like maybe you're just like oh maybe i'm like putting them on the pedestal maybe i'm romanticizing them or something like that no they feel the same way about you too okay trust when i say this connection definitely goes both ways it's not just you there is something you know Know, definitely deeper here and i feel like maybe um you know there's this there's like when when you have a shared connection with someone i feel like there's what, what's a good way to describe it this isn't like the best way i'm gonna like fine tune my metaphors a little bit more but like you know there's this like pool of memories that you share this connection that you share this bond that you share right maybe sometimes one person is a little bit more tapped into it than the other person but that doesn't mean that the other person can't be tapped into it or that access is blocked off right like it's it's not like that i really do feel like you're really tapped into this connection you're really invested but i feel like something's gonna happen where they're gonna come back and they're gonna be magnetized to you they're gonna gravitate towards you and like you know the dynamic is sort of gonna shift they're gonna find themselves being like really really into you really obsessed with you okay i do feel like with this ten of swords there is a lot going on right now in their life that has been sort of preventing them from coming forward but i really think it's like you know divine guidance or blessing in disguise because right now if this person were to be in your life maybe they wouldn't be in the life the way uh that you wanted them to be or like that you deserve them to be okay so um yeah i mean I, I do feel like you know things will shift things will definitely change things will look up for you okay yeah we got the amount of times i've i reached my phone to call you i definitely feel like you guys this person does reach out like they they do want to talk to you they like you've been on their mind a lot and i i, I do i've like seen this happen guys i know i say this a lot in my readings but in my own life i've had people come up to me and tell me that they've been thinking about me that they've like they've been thinking about me fantasizing like you know about this connection and this and like i like literally saw like no evidence in the 3d and it just happened and this um this one person ended up saying like the sweetest things to me and i had no idea like you know they were even feeling that way like they didn't like they played it kind of cool like nonchalant but you guys trust me when i say like sometimes people's feelings are deeper than they go i feel like maybe we kind of live in a generation where maybe it's like cringy to like simp or like you know, the fact that people even use words like sim but that doesn't mean they don't deep inside okay they doubt this person definitely like looks you up on a lot of social media they definitely think about you you're definitely like you know irreplaceable like incomparable like they have not been able to forget about you okay um they definitely talked about you to their friends and family in a very positive way we also got it was a privilege being loved by you i must have done something right it was a privilege just even being in your company being around you guys this person is lucky that they met someone like you again they do put you on the pedestal they do think you're the prize a lot more than they're letting on a lot more than you think they do okay they, but there is definitely something deeper here definitely like you know they do care about you um a lot okay like it's like their feelings are like sort of like building up okay like they're like that moment that, you know this connection is gaining momentum that's actually one of the oracle cards that i have here so yeah this person still thinks about you they still care about you and there's definitely hope for this connection to really go somewhere in the future okay so yeah um i do want to let you know there is a self-concept challenge going on in my patreon i also um offer in depth pair readings as well as a manifest as well as manifestation coaching as well as custom made subliminals so if you're interested in any of these services check out the description box below where you'll find my website you can sign up for those services through my website and yeah i will end the video right here thank you so much love and light